Hey guys, it's Andriana Janae and I am back with another word. Um, this is one that I don't typically do. Um, but when you are in relationship with God and when you are a open and willing vessel uh, for God to use in however which way he wants to, um, there is nothing really typical. So um, I didn't really want to come out, come on here and release this, but the Lord is pressing on my spirit and I have to be obedient. Um, I'm glad it's in the time frame that it is um, when everything kind of died down, but it's in regards to Pastor Mike Todd. And the Lord wanted me to come on here and tell, oh, I, I feel him so heavy. Um, he said, Pastor Mike is his. God said that Pastor Mike Todd is his. That's his servant. That's his child. That's his anointed one. So I'm sure everyone knows um, what took place in the media with Pastor Mike Todd. And I'm not going to go into details about it. Um, I personally didn't even watch the video. Um, Holy Spirit just would not allow me to. Um, and even when it came about, um, the Holy Spirit just kept pressing on my spirit. Do not judge. Do not judge him. Do not judge him. He just kept speaking it to me. And I knew if I would have watched it, naturally my flesh would have wanted to judge. But Holy Spirit kept pressing on my heart. Do not watch. Do not judge. And I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit. And he just was pressing it on my heart. Like that's, he's his. He was like, that is my child. That's my child. And last night, the Lord was like, he wanted me to come on here today and release this video. Um... To whoever, I don't know who this is going to be for. I don't know what this word is supposed to do, what's it intended for, but I'm trusting that the Holy Spirit will watch over his word. And I'm just, a, and I'm just a vessel. So honestly, it's really none of my business what comes of this word. I am just supposed to be a vessel. Um, but the Holy Spirit, he really wanted me to reference back to David. And he was speaking about how there is nothing. Okay, for one, David slept with a man's wife impregnated her and had her husband killed right and i say that to say god is saying when you're chosen you're chosen yeah there are consequences there are repercussions but there he was saying like there's nothing that you can do and there's nothing there or lack thereof there's nothing you can do or lack thereof that can separate you from your anointing that can separate you from being called that can separate you from being chosen so yeah there comes with repercussions for our decisions and our mistakes um but that does not separate us from the calling that God, God has over our lives. And that is what he's saying about Pastor Mike Todd. Um, sometimes what he does, because I know there's a lot of prophetic um, words that are saying that in these times, you know, people who are in these high positions are, are going to be coming down and, and, and you're going to be able to see who's God's chosen ones. And yeah, that's great. Um, but God is also saying, don't, don't disregard my children because of their mistakes. He said that, um, uh, bring it back to me, Holy Spirit. Bring it back to me, Holy Spirit. Bring it back to me, Holy Spirit. Don't 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 disregard my children because of their mistakes. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said that that sometimes God was saying that sometimes He has to humble His anointed ones, the ones that He puts on you know high places and He puts in in, in places of authority. Sometimes He has to humble them. Sometimes He has to remind them that without Him He is nothing, or without God that they are nothing. Without God, um, uh, 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 uh they're they're free game for the enemy. You know what I mean? So God was saying that just like David, David was a king. David was, David is considered son, Jesus is considered son of David. Like understand the authority that David had. And yet David was in the wilderness and David was in the deserts running away from his enemies. So David also was humbled in a way that he, he, you, Psalms is full of David crying out to God. Like, I need you. I am nothing without you. So God was just saying in regards to Pastor Mike Todd, sometimes he has to humble his children and not saying, you know what I mean? I, 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 I okay. Holy spirit. Sometimes God has to humble his children and remind and remind his anointed ones that the same folks that will praise you will be the same ones that persecute you. And when, whether they praise you or they persecute you, you need me. Um, so this is just to, 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 to tell somebody, cause God really wants to, um, speak to someone, be mindful of, be mindful of who you speak against without, going about it in compassion and going to God, going to God on their behalf in prayer. Be mindful of his anointed that you put your mouth on. 
mistakes and all be mindful of the anointed that you put your mouth on so again this is not something i typically do but i release myself to the holy spirit and allow him to do his will with his word i will see y'all in the next video bye